way back to the garage. Finally gonna get some work done on the mini lathe. I have so many mods to do on this thing. We have a quick change tool post, some different tooling, different cutting bits. Nothing is attached to it yet. It is completely stock. That's where we got to today. Live center is in. That allows us to spin our work on a bearing. We've got our drill chuck all assembled and set. All my quick change tool posts are rigged to rock with the exception of my parting tool. Uh, I got the wrong size tool posts for that, but uh, I can just grab a, a blade for one of these spares. All different carbide cutters and this is working just wonderful. Couldn't be happier. I am really, really happy with this. For an El Cheapo lathe, I think this is gonna do the business for what I need. And uh, I'm really tickled with this. This is another step of home manufacturing with the CNC and the laser. And now finally, the lathe is online. I just have to go ahead and adjust the heights on all these so when I go to quick change them, it's super, super easy. And this is a, uh, yeah, these are, there's a low dollar add-on that I, I don't think you could even use. Like this, the original one, screwing out with Allen keys, forget that. One handle, click off, on, done. Out to the garage. This is my score from Facebook Marketplace this week. I got pretty kick-ass drill press for a heck of a deal. We just got this one a few months ago from Facebook Marketplace as well. You see, much, much smaller unit, and I mounted this um, XY for doing milling in it, and this, this thing is way too light a duty. That one is more suited to drilling and milling. And I should be able to sell that other one for as much as I paid for this, uh, or more actually. So I traded up for nothing. And this has depth stop on it, as well as uh, a depth holder, jam nut here, that we can set our depth for our milling and just mill away. Just needs a lot of cleanup. It's uh, It's been used, it's got lots of oil, so it looks like you drilled with lots of oil. The call it looks in good shape. I'd say, uh, <laughs> I'd say we got a heck of a deal. This is awesome. So our little machine shop and fab shop and CNC shop and everything is coming together. One eternity later. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. That's better than it was. I've done a pretty meager cleaning and a coat of light oil over everything. Water displacement 40. And uh, yeah, that works pretty good. We have a tachometer on this one. We had a tachometer. There we go. Tachometer, 
lights, laser, the whole bit. Everything seems to work pretty good. And variable speed, which works just wonderful. Everything is working. And this is where we got to. This will do. Uh, not ideal having it this high. It's my eye level is about here, but uh, it's gonna have to do. That's where I have space for it, so that's where it's gonna live. And I have my XY on here, and it's not centered because, well, it's not set up for this, but uh, it'll do. It's uh, It can be centered, I just don't have full movement. And yeah, pretty happy. This will do the trick. Pretty happy with this. It fires up, everything works, wonderful.